There we are, PC tips for neartheCoast.com. The first one that's been done as a screen capture. And what we're going to do is add a picture to the bulletin board, which used to be a bit of a performance, but with the new software, it's pretty straightforward. The bad news is, is that the pictures, when they come out of your camera, are probably going to be too big for the board to accept and will certainly be too big for people to be able to see easily. So what we're going to do is, first of all, shrink a picture to a suitable size and then we're going to upload it to the board. Beep! What I should have said when we made the vid is that you can use a utility, a bit of software on your PC to shrink the pic, except you may not have one. And this gets around that. Beep! Now somebody with a brain the size of a mountain has come with a simple name for a website. This is the way to name websites. No blimmin fussing about with hyphens and underscores and good girls not shrinkpictures.com that tells you everything go off to shrinkpictures.com there you go and what's more there's no click to enter you just go straight in by the way we're in a very uh, low resolution mode here in the hope that you can see it in the vid clearly when you're doing it for real you're going to see lots more so choose the picture we want to shrink so we'll do a browse there now we popped up in my pictures in this case that may not occur you may come up wherever you were doing something else with a file operation so if you haven't come up in my pictures the easiest way to get there is go my documents and then go my pictures and there's the pictures and what's more if you can't see the pictures supposing you've just got boring stuff like that if you click up here so select thumbnails now we can see the pictures and the picture I'm going to choose is this fellow running through the crowd in Stepney with a Chinese flag when the rest of the universe failed to see um, the Olympic flame pass. So do we want special effects? No. Size 350, a little small, but that'll help us what we're doing. It's for nearthecoast.com, so we definitely want the best. And now it's going to resize that picture. Now that's going to take a little bit of a while because it's got to pull up the, the, uh, the picture uh, down the modern miracle of the interweb and that's going to take it a bit of time um, if we look down here we can see data moving on the wireless connection here okay um, what you'll probably find is I'm now going to go away keep everybody focused and whiz it through the only trouble is quarter ten you can see her starting to nod off she's no good after nine o'clock at night she's bloody brilliant at all other times we are lucky to have her uh, so we're still waiting. Ah, there you go. Your, him your image has been resized. And we'll, oops, took a little bit of while for it to come in, but now it's come in. There's the pick been resized. There's the man with his red flag. Now, what you now do is you point at the pick and you click the right button on your mouse. Okay, not the one you usually click, the other one. And what that does is bring up this little menu. Now we save picture as and we can call it whatever we like we'll stay with their name i reckon why mess about there you go now we're ready to go off and do the fun stuff so first of all we visit our favorite website that's such a buzz and a pleasure to visit go off to the bulletin board oh look sam has left a post we'll come back to that um we'll scroll down here where nobody ever goes near the coast click on that new topic Okie dokie, posting a pic. Now, I'm pretty damn certain that PHP won't let you just post a pic. You've got to have a bit of text, so we'll put red flag. And because I'm very anally retentive, it's always got to be in dark blue. There we go. Now we scroll down a bit more and we're actually getting to the real stuff. Click on Browse come up in my pictures because that's where we left it last time choose the smaller picture okie dokie we could now add the file and there's a reason for that we could come back to but at the moment let's just submit it and there's the pic it's good stuff isn't it I like it um, one reason that you might upload the picture before submitting the post is this we look down here we've got the picture that we've uploaded and we've got this place in line option 
So if we were to put in a blank line there, click on place in line, what will happen now is the picture will appear in the post where we want it. So we could annotate it there. We can annotate it other places as well. There you go. So red flag underneath. No biggie. It means if you've got a bunch of pictures, you can have separate text. You can separate the text and the picture, put the text with the picture. That's what I mean to say. So that's the end of the first one. And um, let's hope it works. There you go. Bye.